Now, Big Board Sports with Ashley Miller. Good evening, everyone. Last night, LaSalle grad Zach Remillard scored the first game-winning run of his very young Major League Baseball career. That was after coming off the bench as a pinch runner for the White Sox. He's back in the starting lineup today, batting ninth and playing second. He hits into a double play in the third, flies out to center in the fifth, but gets his first hit of the game in the bottom of the seventh. That drops into center, unfortunately. Remillard gets picked off on the base pads, but he finishes the game one for, one for three in his average stands at an even 300 since being called up. The White Sox win the game 4-1 and also take that series from Boston. In the past two games, the Yankees offense is 1 for 10 with runners in scoring position unfortunate, or fortunately for the Bombers. One run held up yesterday thanks to their pitching. Garrett Cole doesn't have his best stuff on a hot and humid day in the Bronx today. Corey Seager's RBI single to center gives Texas a run before New York records an out in the first. Cole gives up three runs in four and two-thirds innings with seven strikeouts. New York is down 3-2, going to the eighth. Harrison Bader comes up with a big hit. That's into the gap in left center with runners on first and second. Both runners come home, and just like that, the Yanks take a 4-3 lead. The Rangers walk Anthony Rizzo to bring up Giancarlo Stanton, which seems like a good idea because Stanton is struggling this season, but he gets the job done here. The single to left scores Bader. New York's bullpen throws four and a third scoreless innings, and the Yankees take the series from Texas with a 5-3 win. Yeah, you know, it's a big situation like that. Obviously, you're just trying to, you know, make your focus super small, just take a good swing at a, at a good pitch. Um, you know, he, he came to me with a good pitch. I just put a, uh, put a solid swing on it. I'm just happy it, it went our way. That was good. I mean, to have that kind of a rally and a number of guys go up and have really good, impactful at-bats, hit the ball hard, too, uh, with, within it. Um, yeah, that was great. The Mets can also get a series win in Philadelphia with a victory today. It's former Met Zach Wheeler on the hill for the Phils. New York gets to him for five runs in five and a third innings. Top of the fourth, Brandon Nimmo breaks a 2-2 tie with the RBI single to right. The next inning, it's Francisco Lindor at the dish. And he's going to go big fly to right. Not exactly a fly, more of a big line to right. That gets out to make it a 4-2 lead for the Mets. It's a 6-3 game going to the eighth, but that's where it all goes wrong for New York's bullpen. Josh Walker can't record it out, but he's responsible for three runs. Jeff Brigham issues a bases loaded walk. A couple of bases loaded hit batsmen. Not a pretty way to lose a game for the Mets, who drop it 7-6 to the Phillies. Shaker grad Jeff Hoffman gets the win in relief for Philadelphia. Carson McCusker's 15th home run of the year has the Tri-City Valley Cats up 3-0 right now in the fourth inning against Ottawa over at Joe Bruno Stadium. If you missed this week's episode of Honor Auto & Company with us, you can check it out on our website WNYT.com and click on digital shows and we will of course be live Thursday at 10 a.m. on our social media channels. Finally, how's this for a feel-good story? At the European Team Championships, Belgium had hurdlers go out with injuries so shot putter Jolien Bunquo steps up for her team to run the 100 meter hurdles. She puts her pride on the shelf and why did she do it? Well, because had Belgium not run in this race, they would have been disqualified and you get two points just for the start. So Boom Quo puts her team first and took her time clearing every hurdle, didn't knock any of them down. That, ladies and gentlemen, the definition of team spirit right yeah. there. Yeah. Amazing. Unselfish <laughs> Amazing. team player right and there. And like the, the athletes dapper up afterwards. Yeah. They loved it. Wow. All right. That's good stuff. Yeah. Thanks, Ash. We're back with one more look at the forecast right after this. Homelessness is a collective challenge for our country and community. 